So I'm on antibiotics. Oh, yeah, you had an adventure this week with Kitty. With, with, with my buddy Simba, who, 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 who did that? Oh, no, no, I can, we can, I can show everybody much better. Let me find the... Uh... Yeah, you can show the second day pick because it has healed a bit. It's, it's much more interesting colors now. Well, let's find this. So Tara, for those of you who don't know, Tara uh, volunteers at a, uh, at a cat shelter. Um, and th th it's, it's for kitties who are not exactly, they're, they're, some of them are older, some of them are just not in the best shape. Uh, we have plenty of healthy cats, but it's also cats that we get put down in other shelters. Yeah. Like we have four cats that are paraplegic. We have cats with cancer. We have cats that are diabetic. And we have a, literally a whole room full of cats that have IBD and just poop everywhere. Yeah, and it's it's not the kitty's fault. Somebody's got to no. look after the kitties. So they help. It's it's called Tabby's Place. And tell, yes. Well, one of the kitties. Place.org. One of the kitties did uh did this to Tara. My buddy Simba, and I'm I, I'm his favorite human. He's my boyfriend. And and a lot of people. <laughs> A lot of people noted that apparently Simba unhinged his jaw somehow. Cause that's Simba a... has a serious fucking jaw and he strikes like a cobra. Like he's yeah. fast. <laughs> like before you even realize he has moved, you're in pain. You have a picture of him here. Yeah, here he is. There he is. There's he's Simba. The sweetest boy. And and I'm well, he's my best friend. And he didn't mean it like two seconds later, he was in my lap purring and headbutting me, and I just he has anxiety, and when you startle him, that's how he reacts. He bites, because he was abused in the shelter he was in before. So, but I'm, I'm just I'm honestly impressed because that's 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 a bite radius, man. He doesn't fuck around. Like he he's got a serious jaw. When I went when I went, they they told me they're like, look, you have to get a tetanus shot. You have to do antibiotics. Like cat bites are nothing to fuck with. And I have the Mercy history. Much like the so. Wu Tang, much like the Wu Tang Clan, cat it's bites true. ain't nothing to fuck with. And I, so I went to the to the urgent care, and uh, the the two nurses who saw me were both like, a, ca "A cat did that to you?" A cat did that. And I was like, "Yeah." They're like, "How big was this cat?" And I'm like, "Honestly, he's pretty average sized cat. He's only like 12 pounds." And they're just like, "Holy shit!" And the one guy was like, "Are you sure it was a cat and not a baby lion?" I'm like, "Well, his name is Simba." So, so yeah, you know, but he does like he he's got a big fucking maw. I had I had Wonder Woman gauntlets from Simba at one point because you know, well, but he's a good boy. <laughs> he is. Uh, he right. just has emotional problems, and now I'm on antibiotics. Hooray! But hey, my tetanus shots up to date. Yeah, so, yes, so that's some. All right. Well, as many rusty nails as I want for the next ten years. <laughs> well, you know what? It's that. That's the thing. We have a bunch of stories this week that are kind of like stepping on rusty nails. Oh well, that's fun. Yeah, that's that's what we do here. Um, let's get the intro going each week. Catherine. Radio Dead Air audience go out worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call. What the fuck is wrong with you? And let's start. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's, it's, for one thing, how many fucking disasters do we have going on right now? We have uh, Puerto Rico. We have yeah. California's on fire. All of California's on fire. Fucking Ireland. There's a hurricane heading for Ireland. That doesn't happen. And I had to, I was checking in with my family in Ireland and my cousin Brian was like, oh, it's just wind with some notions. The problem is my cousin Brian is like professionally unimpressed. <laughs> well, that, that seems, that's a lot of the UK and Britain and yes. Ireland. And he's, and he's a goth. So like, he's just like, oh, it's just some wind. So I actually had to wait until his father contacted me <laughs> to actually know everyone was okay. Cause I'm like, if the house blew away, Brian would just be like, well, we're wet now. <laughs> So, so I had to wait for other members of the family to assure me that everything was fine. But fucking Ireland got a hurricane. Like, that doesn't happen. Hurricanes need warm water. And the North Atlantic is cold water. But, at least it used to be before we murdered the planet. And, and of course, it's not, it's not a, a disaster until a well-intentioned rich white guy steps in. Uh-oh. 
I Mark hope Zuckerberg. the Irish don't shoot guns at the hurricane. Yeah, guns aren't really a thing in Ireland. No, they they don't really do those. <laughs> they don't really they don't really do that. Mark Zuckerberg. Don't yell at it. Mark Zuckerberg decided to to step in in the most ham-fisted way possible. Shut up. Mark Zuckerberg promoted the social media giant's new Facebook Spaces app, which allows users to remotely cast cartoon avatars themselves walking around locations in the real world by taking a, quote, magical tour of Puerto Rico. Specifically, Zuckerberg toured parts of the Commonwealth still devastated from Hurricane Maria via an Oculus Rift headset. While Zuckerberg was attempting to explain how space is related to the company's total relief uh, uh, relief efforts after major disasters, the whole thing is a total mess resembling nothing more than rubbernecking and disaster tourism. And yeah, just so he played Puerto Rico the video game. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. That's not okay. That's. Especially, look at these cartoon avatars going on here. I mean, that one lady doesn't even have legs. That's how bad the hurricane was. It blew away her cartoon legs. Just look at it. Look at just ha ha ha. This is so fun. There are rumors that he's planning a presidential run for 2020 because God has forsaken us. Oh, fuck. Which me. is why he's been photographed like driving tractors in Iowa. And like he's trying to like get in touch with the little people and shit. America, if you elect Mark Zuckerberg, you deserve everything you get. You, you think our current predicament would teach us. But then again, we're us. I swear to God, if, if Zuckerberg, it's, it's already bad enough with fucking Trump that I've, I'm like, I have friends in Canada who are like, you should come up here. Like, yeah. for good. No, really, we'll help. We'll, we'll help you. I mean, if you want proof of the wrath, wrath of God, a hurricane just hit Ireland. <laughs> Puerto Rico needs a lot of things right now. They yeah. they need infrastructure repair. They need, you know, approval. Food, from... clean water. They need FEMA putting in some solid fucking commitments, which they are not yeah. doing right FEMA's now. FEMA's handing out canned sausages and Skittles right now. What they don't need is Mark Zuckerberg virtual disaster tourism tourism they, they like don't... why would you think this was a good idea because now this is the story the, the story Go is to not the fucking grand canyon like yeah but this is not a good story no the the, the story is not your your remarkable vr headset now no. the story is you're a fucking idiot yeah the story is wow what an asshole yeah that that's the story now How did they do this? And and Trump does this too. Lots of people. They have these easy. Trump's probably pissed he didn't know about this because he could have done this from the golf course. They have these easy. He's like, I had to go there. They have these easy public relations wins that are right there. And then. Snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. Every fucking time. Well, we have. I Okay. Just white people, man. This is probably. The one of the best headlines we've had in a long time. I'm so happy this happened. A lot of people involved are probably not very happy this happened, but I am very happy this happened. This is fantastic. Longmont police man knocked out power to auto parts store with erotic whip. Really? <laughs> Even Dan is like, what the fuck? I can tell we have a good headline when Dan stops and looks, <laughs> what the fuck? That's how I know we've got a good one. Are you concerned it was you? Was it you? No. You were out west this week. Where was this? Colorado. Well, I was in Denver for like three hours, but I couldn't pull that off. Sure. Long Longmont police say a man accused of threatening an employee at an adult-themed business on Main Street also purchased an erotic whip from the business and used it to tamper with the breaker box at a neighboring auto parts store, knocking out the power. James Michael Kramer, 33, is charged with fel felony me menacing and misdemeanor criminal mischief and criminal tampering in connection with the two incidents. An employee of Naughty But Nice slash Mile High Emporium Wait, is it a porn shop 
and a head shop. A head shop and a porn shop. I don't know if that's a great business model or a scary business model. <laughs> Told it's kind of both. Like, you don't want to mix up those products. <laughs> Does this go in me or do I suck on it? Maybe both. Or both. Yeah, I mean, just, what's going on there? Because um, they do make marijuana lube. It's supposed to have, like, a numbing effect. I think or something. I don't. It is a thing. I'm telling you, it's a thing. And that is a mucous membrane. You can get high that way. That's why people are so shoving t vodka soaked tampons up their asses. An employee told police that he found Kramer tampering with the company van from which the windshield wipers and hubcaps had been removed. The employee told Kramer he was calling police and asked Kramer to come inside the business and wait. Um, no, that's. Anyway, when the employee and Kramer entered the business, police allege Kramer grabbed a garden hoe the business uses to scrape ice off the pavement and took a swing at the employee, who was scared but not injured. Kramer fled the scene. A short time later, police received a call from an employee at O'Reilly Auto Parts who said someone had jammed a British fantasy series metal beaded flogger product placement into the business's breaker box. Like, why do we need the brand name? That's an odd choice. Further investigations revealed Kramer had purchased the whip, which retails for about $30, on the same day. Is this work for the company? <laughs> Is it his side business? <laughs> Is... Okay, so what all happened here was the dude fucked with the, with the, the adult shop's car. The adult shop, and you know it was a head shop, too, because the guy said, Hey, man, you can't fuck with the car. You can't, can't do that, man. I've called the cops. you got to come in here and sit and wait on them, man. That That's not cool, man. <laughs> and he also bought an erotic whip, took it to, what did the auto parts store do? Maybe they wouldn't buy the hu stolen hubcaps. I mean, what what did they say? Like... I confess myself disappointed because given the headline, <laughs> I was hoping to hear that this guy like whipped the breaker <laughs> box until it broke. I was hoping for a mental image of a dude like flogging a breaker box until it blew sparks. It's kind of what I was expecting. Too. Right? So just hearing that he just shoved it in there. I mean, typical man, but <laughs> less exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I just... If you want the sparks, you got to whip it. You can't just shove it in there. <laughs> That's today's lesson. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the service I provide to the internet. Oh, God. Okay, let's move along. <laughs> That's it? We're done with this one? What else is there to say? <laughs> Fair enough. Pittsburgh is next. And, oh, for fuck's sake. It's, it's... Remember when Dine and Dash was just it? That was all there is to it? It was just, you wouldn't pay your tab, you fucking left. It is was simple. Is there more to it now? It Am was... I old enough that there's more to it? it? Do you have to do a flash mob now? No. No, you, you call in a bomb threat. Oh. Man arrested after making bomb threat to Southside restaurants to avoid Bill. No, you just pretend you're going to the bathroom. And then don't come back. Which, by the way, is a shitty thing to do because then that server has to cover your check. Uh, Pittsburgh. They take that out of that server's wages half the time. So fuck you. Pittsburgh man is facing charges after police say he made up a bomb threat to try and get out of paying his bill. Barry Clapperton, 40, is charged with threats to use weapon of mass destruction, public drunkenness, false identification to police, terroristic threats, and escape. Um, Look at the mugshot. That dude's the same age as you and me. Oh, he's had a he heart. He looks like shit. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do drugs, kids. It ages you and sunblock. 
Um, police say they heard Clapperton calling a bomb threat to a restaurant a few blocks down the street. His tab is paid. They get ready to let him go, and the bomb threat comes in, and he takes off. Uh, police and witnesses say it didn't end there. They allege Clapperton ran out of the restaurant, across the street, and down 19th Street, eventually getting to a point right in front of dumpsters where police shocked him with a stun gun and arrested him. Police say Clapperton told officers his friend advised him to call in the bomb threat to create a distraction. Now, one of two things happened here. Either his friend was a complete asshole and knew he would do it and just didn't want to deal with him anymore, which, fair enough, or two, his friend does not exist. Yeah. My friend. Yeah, that that's sort of the... No, no, it's okay. His a, friend is a six-foot bunny named Harvey. Also, there's another... I hate when people do this with, like, the cops and something. No, no, someone told me it was okay. And? Was that us? Yeah, it was... If it wasn't us, it doesn't count. Yeah, unless it's the people who can arrest your ass. It right. don't count. It's, that doesn't that doesn't count. That doesn't matter. They no. don't they don't give a fuck what your buddy said. No. Yeah. Your your buddy is not the law. No. And, and and yeah, this not only is he skipping out on his check, making the server have no, oh, excuse me, making the server have to pay, but he calls it a bomb threat. Also scaring the shit out of everybody. This is not a good time in history to be calling in bomb threats, okay? No. I mean, what did you, we just had the motherfucker in, in Vegas. Everyone was losing their shit and scared and rightfully so. This ain't the time for that. And I mean, this is America, so it's never the time because no. that's going to happen again next week, probably. Yeah. Like, just don't do that. It ties up the cops. It scares the shit out of everybody. Just pay your fucking restaurant bill. Like, I know. How much? How much could that? Maybe fifty. Like bucks. How much did you eat? Yeah, maybe. Maybe I, 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 one of some of the worst. But I think the worst restaurant bill I've ever had was a hundred dollars. But that was like at the super expensive steakhouse. What did you? You got like fifty bucks is like about a normal kind of yeah. You know, night on the town. Nice restaurant. Fifty bucks. Or alternately, if you can't afford to pay your restaurant bill. Eat at home. Yeah. Do that. Because now, instead of paying your restaurant tab, you have to pay a lawyer. You have to pay court fees. You're going to jail. I mean, the good news is in jail, they feed you for free. <laughs> I don't I don't understand what the, the, the like the cost benefit analysis on this is always in the favor of just pay your fucking bill. Yeah. It's it's like uh, penny wise, but pound foolish, except with jail. <laughs> except with bonus imprisonment. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's and speaking of bonus imprisonment, this is <laughs> this guy. <laughs> it's Florida. It's Tampa. This fucking guy. Deputies. Pinellas County, Pinellas Park man Googled how to rob a bank, then robbed a bank. <laughs> oh, dear. Sheriff's deputies on oh, Monday. <laughs> Sheriff's, wow. Sheriff's deputies on Monday arrested a man accused of robbing a bank near Largo. He's not stupid. He's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> There's a difference. You're a southerner, so you probably know this. I've recently learned this. I did not know that there's a difference between stupid and stupid. But there is. Yeah, it's true. Uh, sheriff's deputies on Monday arrested a man accused of robbing a bank near Largo, then using the money on utilities, rent, and a drug binge. Oh. According to the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office, William Joe Johnston, uh, 26, on Thursday, stole an undisclosed amount of money from uh, Achieva Credit Union deputies. And I'm even more pissed because credit unions, you, you fuck with a bank all you want because fuck Wells Fargo yeah. and all that. But a credit union, no. Um, That's a whole different ball of wax. They're, they're pretty decent. 
Johnson, and they're not in it to steal your money usually. No. Johnson entered the bank just before 11 a.m., approached the teller, implied he had a gun, told the teller to give him cash. He ran from the store with the cash. After an investigation, deputies found him at the hotel. In an interview, detectives said Johnson told them he was in need of money and searched on Google how to rob a bank. Okay. There are some things that Google is fantastic for teaching you how to do. Yeah. You want to learn how to redo the grout in your bathroom? How to tie a Windsor knot? Google will help you. You you can you can learn how to build an entire guitar amplifier from scratch just with Google. Google can teach you good things. This is not if if you're the kind of person who needs Google's help to do something. It probably should not be robbing a bank. Like, have you ever seen a movie? Yeah. Ever? Because it, like, that's pretty well trod territory. Yeah. I kind of Google it because I'm. I really want to know. Do not Google <laughs> that. <laughs> I really kind of want to know what the hell this guy found. We're almost certainly already on some kind of watch list because you're a crazy ass. <laughs> Let's it's not make it worse. A watch list. My God. There are there are probably chat rooms at government. We're probably on a watch list because of my crazy ass too. There, there there's probably a, a, an inter office chat room just for Dan at probably the government. Thanks, to be serious. <laughs> I mean, he he had security clearance once, so. They're aware of him. I just it. They, I mean, for of if there are things. Say that. Huh? Was I not supposed to say that? No, that's fine. Okay. If if I was if if I fuck up regrouting my bathroom, let's go with that example. If I fuck that up, I can call in a professional to fix it. Yeah. If I fuck up tying a Windsor knot. Worst case scenario is somehow I've ruined a tie. Right. If I fuck up robbing a bank, <laughs> which this guy did. To be fair, he didn't actually. He fucked up getting away with robbing a bank. Well, that's kind he of. He robbed the bank successfully. Well, that's an important, a very overlooked and important aspect. He, well, yeah, you're right. He should have Googled. How to get away with a bank robbery. That's the part he forgot. He successfully robbed the bank. He just forgot that, like, you don't reset at the spawn point, like in a video game. Like, if you make it back home, you don't reset your stars. I, I in the channel, said, I just used Bing for it. There's a movie called How to Rob a Bank. That's why no one uses Bing. I, I just it does Bing still exist? It does. It does. Oh, I thought they I thought that they took that shit down. Microsoft still keeps Bing exists. My, uh, Internet Explorer slash Edge still exists. But just, in, but a AOL Instant Messenger is going away at the end of this year. That's that is that is meh. I'm kind of sad about it. There's no client for my computer, so I can't use it anymore, but I'm kind of sad about it. Next up is one near your near you. I think you pointed me toward this one. Some other people oh, did too. Yeah, there is one I sent you. From New Jersey. My my mall. <laughs> Naked man in a massage chair at Quaker Bridge Mall punched guard. Lawrence, a Hamilton man, stripped off his clothes and sat in a massage chair in the common area of Quaker Bridge Mall earlier this week. Joseph uh, Mikulski, uh, 51, reacted angrily when a mall security officer approached him at 5 p.m. and asked him to put on his clothes. Mikulski, Not an unreasonable request. Mikulski punched the guard in the face, causing the guard... An unreasonable to, response. Causing the guard to wrestle him to the ground. I mean... I, I, <laughs> Look, sir, you have to point on, put on some pants. It are not fighting words. No, not in any and, circumstance. And mall security guards are not super highly trained or paid. Right. So, 
like your job as a mall security guard should never like they ride around on segways in helmets. That your that job should never involve having to wrestle a naked person <laughs> to the ground. I mean that's that's not you. That's not the day they talk about. Well, no, actually, I take that back. That's the day they talk about at, on your retirement. Yeah. Anything else you could save a child from a burning books a million. <laughs> <laughs> and all they'll talk about was, hey, remember I'm the day guy? Remember the day Frank had to wrestle the naked guy? That's all they're ever gonna that, that's what they're gonna remember you for. Back in my Sephora days, we had someone who had stolen from another store and she was making her getaway moving moving past our store, and the mall security guards like just caught up with her as she passed our store and they needed our security footage for it because we have a, a, a camera on the door. And our, what our security footage showed was they grabbed her by the loop of her pants and she just kept walking. And they had the pants and not her by the end of it. But it all happened very, very slowly. Like, she, like there was a very slow motion struggle as she just writhed out of the pants and kept going and eventually fell down. <laughs> It's not dignified. No, I just, this guy was just like, well, today's the day I'm going to go and show everyone my dick at the mall. And rub my sweaty ass cheeks all over a public massage chair. And it's like, I, I love just the fact that this guy had, is just a dick out and be like, how dare you? His, his response was not, oh, I'm sorry. It was, how dare you tell me to put my dick away? This is America. I thought this was America. How dare you? I'm going to punch you in the face, sir. I really just hope they burn that chair. <laughs> there's, there's just this. Because like we said with the fucking laundry story, remember the laundromat? Everyone yeah. who goes to that mall from that, because everyone knows it's the Quaker Bridge Mall. Anyone who goes to the Quaker Bridge Mall is going to be like, is that the massage chair that guy had his balls on? Yeah, you don't. <laughs> nobody wants. The, there's no getting the, the smell ass. No one's going to want to sit in the ball chair ever no. again. The sweaty ass and ball smell never going away. Finally, this last week comes from my hometown right here in Charleston. Oh, South we had one for each of us. Yeah. Mine's worse. And <sighs> I have lost jobs before. We've all lost jobs. That's how the job works capitalism but and i've had bad responses i've had good responses i've never had i don't i don't get the plan on this one that's that's what's driving me crazy i'm not i don't understand the plan here charleston south carolina disgruntled ex-contractor accused of spraying possible feces on grocery produce. Oh. Authority I'll said, take hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take naked guy in a massage chair over... over I told you it was worse. <laughs> over, like, poop carrots. <laughs> Authorities say a man sp sprayed a foul-spelling brown liquid on produce at a grocery store in South Carolina, telling police the store owed him money. Do you think that's going to make them give it to you? Because it's not. That's what I don't understand. It's, you owe me money. I'm going to find a lawyer. Not, you owe me money. I'm going to poop in a bottle and spray it on your goods. That'll get my money back. Have you ever encountered liquid manure? No. It's a thing in farmland. Yeah, I know, because it's... Like, upstate yeah. New York is all dairy farms. Yeah. And that's what they use to fertilize their their farms, yeah. is cow poop mixed with water. It's liquefied cow shit. And they spread... And so the entire place reeks of cow shit. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure this was not cow shit. Well, no, but I'm just saying, like liquid manure. This is this, terrible. This was not liquid manure. This was liquid uh, 
Who hang? I think yeah. is the gentleman in call. Uh forty-one years old. Forty-one years old. So that's also an old enough. Also to know about him. our age. Yeah. Um. Too old for that haircut. Please say say. Uh, the manager saw hang with a bottle, and with a brown liquid and a bad odor like feces spraying it on the produce. Yes, may it cost at least three thousand dollars to throw away the contaminated food and clean the cases. That's yeah, because so much stuff. bleach. So much bleach. He's charged with damage to personal pros- property and trespassing after notice. Jail records do not list a lawyer. Gee, I, that's where you, that should have been your first stop. That should, that, that was. You know what? If you sue in small claims, it doesn't even require a lawyer. Mm. If they owe you like less than 10 grand, you can sue them in small claims. You don't even need a lawyer. Yeah. But criminal charges, you better hope the public defender's good. I, I just. And, and the person who had to clean that up makes like $9 an hour. Yeah. Some fucking teenager had to come in for his shift after school. Hey, guess and what? Clean up your liquid shit. Guess what? There's shit all over the produce. Here's some rubber gloves. Have yourself a nice afternoon. Yeah. I. And that, Enjoy your weekend, Trevor. I just. Uh, what? was the plan how does this get your money isn't isn't that one of our 10 commandments poop is not a plan it's not a plan it's not this was it's not this was a bad plan pooping on people pretty much never going to get you what you want where did where is except in very very specific scat film scenarios I... but other than that pretty much never going to get you what you want is 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 they you don't have okay you don't get your money that's mm-hmm. not happening not now nope. not ever because even if you were even right now if you did the smart thing and got Mr. Lawyer and 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 took him to the court place and said they owe me money give me money even if you did that right now the grocery store gets to say you sprayed poop on everything right you're not getting any money and the judge three thousand dollars worth of product. I think we're even. Yeah, the judge would say no. He's not. You're not getting. In fact, now they have cause to sue you. Yeah. And I'll tell you, judges do not like it when you spray poop on things. No. That that's might, a biohazard. Yeah. That that I might be be shoehorning myself. I might be painting myself into a corner here with that blanket statement. But I think it's a safe bet to say judges don't like it when you spray poop on things. I don't think anybody likes it when you spray poop on things. Tara, don't Google that. Outside of (laughs) scat film scenarios, like I said, there are very specific scenarios where people might enjoy that. But you got to go to FetLife for that. (laughs) You can't. You can't just look for that at the supermarket. So I guess uh, yeah. You can't just troll the laxative aisle hoping to find love. It's not going to (laughs) work. That's how we used to do it, though, back in the day before the back internet. Back in my day. That's how, that's how we had to find the love. We just struck up a conversation over the Dulcalax. So, yeah, the, that's, the, the, first, the, the first thing we learned this week is, yet again, no, it's not what we learned. This is, a, this is a repeat scenario. This is keep having to learn this one. This is, this is remedial at this point. Poop is not a plan. I mean, they kind of teach you that in kindergarten. I, maybe even like preschool. That's basic. Yeah. We've like, learned. You kind of learn that before you learn to speak. We've learned the correct response to "Sir, put your dick away" is to put your dick away, and not punch people. It's not a gift to the world. Your dick. No, no. Most men think it is. And I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, fellas. You're wrong. Yeah. It's not that special. It's not. It's a dick. It's. I'm sorry. It's a misshapen hot dog. If we're if that's the aesthetic you're going for. Made out of what? Le- leftover elbow skin. <laughs> leftover elbow skin and that turkey gobble shit. <laughs> 
we we've learned if you need to google how to rob a bank you should not rob a bank no it's i think that's a little bit out of your expertise probably not your your calling no i feel bad that he had to use it to pay his rent like that's very sad like and a drug binge that's probably why he needed it to pay his rent but you know i that's a bummer that's terrible but that's not the solution we've learned that the uh the best way to get out of paying your bill is to pay your bill yeah because you might think you found the secret loophole when in fact you're in jail yeah that's that's not and now it's jail is more expensive than dinner yeah we've learned that some weird shit went on in colorado for un for no discernible reason <laughs> i mean also there is a head shop slash porn shop in colorado everybody you gotta yeah. check that shit out for real just don't get your purchases mis mixed up don't smoke your dildo and in insert your joints it's it's a fun game to play bong or vibrator it's 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 something that... i will bet you money that they have a dildo bong combo there because glass dildos are a thing so i will bet you they have a dildo that you can smoke and use at the same time if not i'm gonna design one for them and make my millions god i've got i'm getting i'm trying to just work out the logistics and, my, and oh well, they're the really long bongs. The design actually wouldn't be dissimilar from the dildo um, pogo oh. stick. You know the dildo on the pogo stick? I do not. Now I do. You didn't? Get, oh yeah, it's a pogo stick, and like halfway down, there's a there's a thing like this with a dildo on it. So oh. you you know, it's self powered. <laughs> okay, that um. <laughs> I should have guessed something like that existed. I, I guess. I mean, but. really? I feel like that's that's just injury waiting to happen. Every time I see that product, I'm like, you're just you're just asking for a broken something. But <laughs> and finally, we've learned disasters are not your photo op. No. Even if you're doing it in VR. Maybe don't exploit people who are dying. Yeah, maybe. maybe for a PR do, stunt. Don't do that. Because, you know, that the, Puerto Rico does not need your, your VR headset. Because they, they have no water. power! They need, they need literally clean water. <sighs> Maybe if you could send them some of that Mark Zuckerberg, that would be a help. I'm just, I'm now I've got the fucking pogo stick dildo in my head. <laughs> like, you gotta be really skilled to make that work, I feel like. Because pogo did, sticks are difficult. Every time you're on here, Tara, my friend, I, like, how did we get there? How did we get here from there? And yet you just keep letting me do this job. <laughs> you just keep calling me. <laughs> <sighs> the dildo bong exists. Oh, no. Excellent. 